Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox today um, and I'm making a layout using the really beautiful um, January Fox box. Um, I'm using the silver or grey um, perspective in the set that is that says favourite photograph. So love this because it's English spelling um, of favourite, um, which most... Um, most of the time, the word favourite is spelled uh, the American way, which is um, obviously different to what um, how we spell it. Um, so um, just uh, apologies for the brightness of the video. Um, I'm battling with sun streaming in through my window. I've tried to cover it, um, but I still had a few issues. So bear with me, it does get better. Um, so I'm using um, a cut file that I've cut from White Card. Um, the cut file is the Christmas stockings and it's a freebie from Hip Kit Club. Um, I have already um, cut out the backing, backings, the back part of the stockings um, out of different pattern papers. Um, so I'm just using my wet glue um, to stick those directly onto the cut file. So there are four different stockings um, on this cut file um, and each one is backed with a different patterned paper. I would say the cut file itself um, is just cut from white cardstock um, and um, I'm using the, the, no I'm not, the November um, hip kit um, papers and things uh, for this layout um, of, as well as of course the uh, favourite photograph perspective by Brabble Fox from the January Fox box. I'm also going to add a few festive stars um, onto this layout as well because I am still totally into Christmas even though it's New Year now. Happy New Year by the way um, but uh, I'm afraid I'm still stuck on Christmas and probably will be for some time <laughs> so expect nothing except Christmas layouts from me uh, for a little bit longer. <laughs> um, okay so um, I'm just playing around now with how I want my layout to look on um, on in total um, you know to the, the overall design so basically where is my photo going to go where is my cut file going to go and where is my word favourite photograph going to go? Um, so just working all of that out now and playing around with a few different ways um, that um, this could be arranged. Um, so I've torn a large strip of pattern paper. It's not that large actually, it's about four, maybe five inches wide. Um, and I've torn that across on both sides. So I have a torn edge at the top and the bottom of that wide strip of paper. Um, and I'm using that as a base uh, for my photo. Um, the reason I wanted to do that was because I wanted my cut file um, to show up um, and it's all, it's cut on white cardstock and it's going onto a white background which means I would have some trouble um, having it show up. However, um, I end up painting it so, so uh, I needn't have worried. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm doodling around the outside of the cutouts on the stockings to um, make them make the patterns show up more. Um, however, as I was doing it, um, I made a bit of a mess of it. It was not looking right at all. It was um, looking a bit messy. So the first two, I go around the outside of the shapes. And the second, oh, sorry, my head's in the way there. And then the second two, I actually draw around the inside of the shapes, which makes them much neater. Um, so a couple of different effects there. You, nobody would ever notice unless I had actually said something. Um, so it's not something I'm particularly worried about, but um, it was definitely easier to draw around the inside of the cut file rather than around the outside. Um, so, um, okay, so I've made those a bit more obvious. They now stand out slightly better. Um, and uh, I'm just arranging my layout with um, all those trees. They are um, die cut pack from the November Hip Kits. Um, and uh, I just wanted um, a whole bunch of trees either side of my photo um, to uh, show up. So, this is um, Christmas stockings, obviously. Um, and uh, the trees, the Christmas trees, I think go really well with Christmas stockings. Um, definitely my stockings hang near my Christmas trees at home. Um, so um, that worked for me. Um, aiming for a red and navy grey colour scheme. Um, so wasn't planning to introduce any green or any other colours into this layout. I was trying to stick to those ones. So I felt that my um, torn piece of paper needed a um, another layer of colour to add some more boldness to it um, and uh, I've torn a piece of red across the top um, and added another strip there so I have this pop of red at the top of that piece of uh, pattern paper. 
I'm just layering my photo onto a Project Life card. Um, I've distressed the edges of that. Um, it does have some different colours in it. It's got lots of stars all over it, um, but it, um, it works well enough, I think. I'm happy with it. It's not too much colour that um, it looks, it's overpowering or it interferes with the colour scheme at all. Um, okay, so here's the point where um, I decide that I probably need to do something with my cut flower. You can see that I've pulled out some silver paint. Um, I've put it at the top there. I've sprayed it with some water to um, to let it uh, mix a little bit. Um, and I'm just letting that sit there so to dissolve slightly so that I have a nice, thick, uh, rich paint with which to um, paint with. Um, and I'm getting my cut files stuck to my layout. So um, my plan is to paint the branch um, in silver paint. Now I don't want to paint the stockings themselves um, and people might question why I have stuck it, stuck the cut file to the layer already. Well the cut file is actually raised up on foam pads so I find that this is the best way of doing this. Unless I was going to do it on a craft sheet so I'd, where it didn't matter if I went over the edges at all. Um, then I would have to leave it to dry uh, before I could then stick it onto my layout. Whereas this way, I can paint directly onto my layout um, and um, I don't have to wait for it to dry before I can carry on making my layout. So for me, this works well because it's raised on foam pads. It gives that separation between the cut file itself and the um, layout. So I'm unlikely to get paint on um, any other parts of the layout. I'm, I'm being careful as well, but um, generally that's, um, I find that works really well. If something is raised on foam pads, um, then I would uh, generally paint it once it's on the layout rather than off the layout and then add it later. Um, I, you can tell I don't like waiting for things to dry. I'm very impatient. <laughs> um, I'm also away on holiday, so I don't have a heat tool with me. Um, someone did suggest that I should use a hairdryer, <laughs> but um, I did try it and then everything blew everywhere, so I uh, quickly put that back um, and, uh, and have just been patient. Um, unwillingly, but patient <laughs> when waiting for mixed media to dry ever since. Um, okay, so I'm just carrying on painting um, those frond branches that um, are not stuck down to the layout. I'm just lifting them up um, under my finger um, to give them that bit of extra height um, and then I've painted them that way. Um, so I love how that looks now. It works really well with the silver favourite photograph. Um, just a minor funny thing that happened in between those two takes. Um, you'll see that the video skipped there and I've stuck down the favourite photograph. Um, as I was reaching for my glossy accents, I managed to knock over my whole camera setup equipment. <laughs> and so I had uh, this terrible scene um, going, everything falling onto the table um, in the middle of filming this layout. So, <laughs> so um, my husband came to the rescue and uh, we managed to put it uh, back together and the layout was fine. Um, but um, the footage was not great, so that's why it jumped there, skipped there, um, uh, <laughs> um, because they had to edit that bit out. <laughs> but, you know, these things happen, it's real life, so um, I just thought I'd mention that to make you chuckle. Um, anyway, um, I am, my favourite photograph is now stuck down with my glossy accents and I'm just positioning my trees um, onto the layout. So I'm away on vacation and don't have many foam pads with me, <gasps> oh dear, um, so I am um, being very um, careful with how many I use. Normally I would use loads and all these trees would be raised on foam pads, um, but because I am using them very sparingly, um, most of the trees this time I'll start flat. <laughs> um, so just um, getting those in place and I've added some silver twine um, around uh, in twiddles um, underneath the trees as well. So I'm basically creating two large clusters either side of my photo. Um, I'm now looking at, uh, I want to add in those festive stars from Bramble Fox. They're available in the store um, and uh, I want to add some of those onto the layout. I've got two sets there. So I've got the red glittery ones um, which come in a set of red and gold and then I have the frosted red which come in a set of red, blue and green. Maybe pink as well, I'm not sure. Um, but so I've mixed two sets together there and I'm going to put those onto the layout in a bit. Um, I'm currently sticking snowflakes um, onto the background of the layout. I did think about adding some mixed media under the stockings, um, but um, 
in the end I decided to go for these snowflakes. They're acetate snowflakes so they're quite subtle um, and I just stuck a number of them onto the background and most of them are only half snowflakes because the other half is under the stockings. Um, so they were just kind of subtle and poking out and um, you know uh, um, looking not overpowering is what I'm trying to say. Um, so just getting my festive stars stuck in place now. I've just placed a punch on top of one of them to make it stick down properly because um, it was over two layers. Um, and now I'm adding a title. So I was just considering a title. I didn't know whether favourite photograph should be my title or whether I would want um, another title as well. And in the end I decided I did want another title. So I'm going for uh, December to remember. They're from a sticker sheet um, from the November hip kit, um, and uh, this um, that works really well um, for this layout. <coughs> so it is my favourite photograph, but it's also a December to remember. So I have basically have two titles on this layout. So just coming in with some final embellishments now. So I had an idea that I wanted my wanted some presents. I had some puffy sticker presents, and I wanted them to be sticking out of the top of one of the stockings. So that was a bit tricky because the cut file was attached to the stocking. So the branch is obviously hanging down to the stocking, the attachment there, but also the leaves were also attached to the stocking. So that was a little challenging trying to get the um, presents to poke out in the right place. And then I'm just creating now another little cluster on the long stocking. Um, so I've put some presents on there and some flowers. And now just going through um, the stickers I have left to see what else I can use um, on this layout. So um, I had the idea, I had these little photo corners and I had the idea of poking them in to make them look like trees. It worked really well above the photograph, um, definitely looks like the tip of a tree, but didn't work um, on the other cluster, the other side with the trees, um, because you could see uh, where it was finishing. So um, I didn't use that one, but I used the one on the, on the right above the photo. Um, so now I'm just adding, um, oh, I'm just there making sure that my front branches are stuck in place. Um, and I'm going to use some more of that silver paint. So this is a Shimmers uh, Inklings, I think, and it's called No One's Chrome. It's just silver um, and it's nice and sparkly. Um, and I'm just going around my two clusters on either side of my layout and adding some spatters. Um, just coming in now with a grey pen to add my journaling in between um, one of the, two of the stockings, sorry. Um, and that's it, that's pretty much me done. So I just added the date at the top there as well. Um, and that is me done. So make sure you go over to the Bramble Fox store and check out the January Fox Box because it's totally, totally fabulous. Also those festive stars as well. If you're still using Christmas, if you're still scrapbooking Christmas like me, um, they are awesome. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox.